All right, I want to work uh, question number two on the titration calculations. There's a step that we'll go through uh, to get those titration calculated. Uh, titrations are acid-base neutralization. Uh, we're taking an acid and neutralizing it with a base, and the result is always water and a new salt. So first thing we do is write and balance the chemical reaction. Uh, chemical reaction for uh, number two here is we have nitric acid. So all acids start with H. So HNO3. Got to have those charges positive for hydrogen, negative for nitrate. Gives you HNO3. And then we have uh, magnesium hydroxide. Mg is the positive two charge. Hydroxides a negative one, so we need two hydroxides. Uh, that is always going to give us, well, it's a double replacement reaction, uh, so we get HOH, remember HOH is water, and we get the new uh, salt of magnesium uh, nitrate. Now I gotta balance the reaction. Uh, and I need two of those to one of those to two of those to one of those. So I have my ratio. Okay, so uh, step number two, I'm going to use the molarity formula to solve for the moles of what I know the most about. And in the titration calculation, I know more about one substance, meaning I know the volume of it and I know the molarity. And so in question number two, I know more about... Uh, nitric acid than I do about the magnesium hydroxide. I know the volume and I know the uh, molarity. So I'm going to use molarity formula to solve for moles. So I know the molarity is 0. 0.056 molar of nitric acid. The volume is 14.5 milliliters, but I need to use and convert to liters because I'm using the molarity formula, so I've got to change that. So that makes it 0 0.0145. All right, so I got to solve for my uh, moles. So I got to rearrange and multiply uh, the liters by both sides, and that'll give me my moles of acid. So let's do that. So that'd be 0 0.056 times 0 0.0. 145. It looks like a bad four. Uh, sorry for that. It's hard to write on this. But anyway, all right, that gives me uh, that many moles. So 8.12 times 10 to the negative four. So I have the moles of nitric acid. Well, to do a neutralization, so when I get this completely neutralized, moles of acid equal moles of base. And so I go on to step number three. Step number three is the number of ratio of acid to base in this instance. I have this many moles of acid. And I got to use a ratio of how much acid to how much base. But this one's a two to one ratio. So this is why we do need to set up a mole ratio, even though some of those uh, you won't need to because it's a one to one ratio. But this one is, I need twice as much of the acid to the base. And so now that I have the moles in my calculator, I know that mole ratios, I need to have half the amount of the base to neutralize this acid. So I'm going to divide by two. And that's how many moles of base were used or needed to neutralize uh, this acid. But I'm after the, what is the strength of the base is what I'm after. And so now I'm on to step number four, and that is to use the molarity to solve for the uh, strength of the base in this case. The steps are the same no matter what type of question. If we're looking for the molarity of the acid, we always do the same thing. So anyway, uh, let's finish that up. Let's find out what is the molarity of the base. So I know the moles of base, which is 4.06 times 10 to the negative 4. I know the volume of the base that was used in the reaction. So all these numbers come from a lab in which you, that you'll see a lab on Thursday's, uh, or excuse me, Wednesday's video. 
And so now I need to change 4.5 milliliters into liters. And so that's going to be 0 0.0045. And I have all my work, my calculator, which is pretty neat that I just need to divide by my volume of base. So 0 0.0045. And this gives me the strength of my base. And my base is strength is 0 0.09 molar magnesium hydroxide. And that's what a titration calculation will look like.